Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another exciting day in mathematics. Woo, woo. How's everybody doing? Good? Good blood drive and all that, yeah? Some of y'all. All right, so uh, warm-up number 29 should come up as soon as you log in with the code on Nearpod. Get started, please. That shouldn't take you long. You are going to need a uh, calculator, so send a gopher to get you a calculator, please. And I'll give you some time. Go. Nice bell curve. Uh, I see some of y'all are making some bell curves that look like virotes, so make sure you, uh, you know, make it nice and even. And it looks like standard deviation is 3.03. .03. Hands if you got something like that. All right, good. All right, copy the agenda. Warm-up number 29, frequency tables to graphs. Uh, hopefully for tonight, 2.2, .2, numbers 3 and 4. Last night you did numbers 1 and 2. And uh, once again, a reminder, this is being recorded as well, just a reminder for whenever anyone is absent, to turn your neighbor let them know where to go for the video lesson of the day. All right. Let's see. Quirin, where do we go? Yeah, YouTube. 23 Mr. Q. 23 MRQ. 23 no space MRQ. Thank you, Yanni. All right. So. We got the agenda? Yeah, copy that. Let me send it to your screen. The home plate access, copy this code in your notes, DT2SG. That's going to give you access to the home plate for tonight. However, you already know that you can go to your textbook to lesson 2.2, .2, go to the end, practice problems, and you're going to do numbers 3 and 4. And once again, reminder, as we're approaching the uh, colder season, especially some of y'all that can't stay off those stockies and flaming hot Cheetos, that needs to do like spinach and kale and stuff, guys. Get your immune up. All right, last night's home play. Go to Canvas, turn that in, please. Tonight's home play. All right, and get a Cornell note ready, please. You don't need a fair model. We're going to continue. Today's a day of practice. So those of you that are following us on YouTube, just make sure to uh, do the practice of the home play that was shown earlier. I'll show you that in a little bit. So 104.5 to 109.5, the frequency is 8, so 104.5 to 8, 109.5 to 8, the midpoint is in between both, connect them, bring it down to the x-axis, and shade your bar. Go to the next one, boundaries to 18, so 109 to 18, which is up here, 114 to 18. Midpoint, connect them, bring down your boundaries all the way to the x-axis, and shade your bar, and so on and so forth. At the end, we look at our data. Let me do one more just so that we can compare the data. 114 to 13, 119 to 13, midpoint, 7. One and one. By looking at this data, we can see that the highest frequency is what? 18. 
But what does that mean? According to the table, highest temperature in the U.S. for the 50 states. So we wrote the most frequent high temperature on the U.S. was between 109 to 114. Is that pretty accurate? Yes. Histogram. From there, we moved on to frequency polygon. Process is the same. You need a table. You need a midpoint. But this time, in order to create that polygon graph, all you need is the midpoint and the frequency and start plotting. So let me do that once again. Here we go. Midpoint is 102. Frequency is 2. So 102 is between here, these two, to 2, which is right there. Next one, 107 to 8. 107 is in between these two to 8. 112 to 18. 112 is in between these two to 18. Uh, 117 to 13. 117 is in between these two to 13. Uh, 122 to 7. 122 to 7. And then 1 and one. So therefore, connect your points. And bring it to the close. Does it look like a polygon? Yes, Mr. Q, it looks kind of like a triangle. All right. So therefore, what do you guys notice from the previous one to this one? That the process is exactly the same. You need a midpoint, except for this one, you do need the boundaries to create your little bar for each of the classes. Over here, for the second one, you don't need the, mid, the boundaries. You just need the midpoint and the frequency and connecting the points instead of making bars. And last but not least, OJIVE. For OJIVE, we do need to make a different table. We go below it. Make one column called class, the other one called cumulative frequency. And here we go. I start with my lowest value, look up. Lowest value is 99.5, so I write for my first class less than 99.5. Is there any data below 99.5? No, that's why I wrote zero. Next one, 104.5. Here it is, 104.5. What was the frequency below 104.5? It is two, that's why I wrote two. Next, 109.5. 109.5 is right here. So I'm focusing on these boundaries on top. So what is the frequency for here is 8, but anything below that, it, that includes the 2. So weight plus 2, that gives me 10. That's why this is called what? Cumulative frequency. And you keep adding all the frequencies for each of the classes until re you reach 50 because this is on the 50 states. From there... Here's my class right here. And then here's my cumulative frequency. Notice it goes from 0 to 50. You guys decided to scale it by 10 yesterday, yes? And then I start plotting. Here it goes in case you uh, missed this part. 99.50. 99.50 is on the x-axis. 104.52. 104.52. Right above the x-axis. 109.5, 109.5 to 10, and so on and so forth. And at the end, you just connect your points. Last night's home play was doing all three of them for one of the problems and two of them for another. Well, today, you're going to do one by yourself with all three of them. Yay, let's go. So on your paper, copy that, please. Example Q, and it reads, represent the data using histogram, Frequency polygon and OGI. They're going to do that table to represent, or that distribution to represent all three graphs. I'm going to give you guys, uh, what, 10 minutes? Three minutes per graph? Yes? All right? Yes? Yeah, I'll send it to your screen. Um, make sure you are working with a neighbor in case you have questions. And uh, for those of you that were absent, if you need to go revisit the video lesson, do that. Uh, so like that, you can get the gist of the whole thing.
All right, other than that, um, I'm going to stop the video right here. Today's a day of practice, so make sure you put some practice in. And for those of you that are following along on uh, YouTube, the home plays on the screen. Make sure you do uh, your practice for those two problems. Catch you guys later. Peace.